Hey guys, it's Mikan and today I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite outfits for this autumn season. I got most of these clothes from Harajuku. Check out last week's video if you want to see what it was like shopping for them. I want to say a big thank you to Zen Market for sponsoring this video. If you don't live in Japan and you want to buy Japanese clothes, the best way is through Zen Market. You can use their service to buy from any Japanese online shop or auction. Stick to the end and I'll show you how. I'll put the link in the description for you. As you can see, Japan still doesn't quite look like autumn. But I was eager, so I made this a little bit early. Let's start! The first outfit is this super cozy oversized knit cardigan with a little blouse and a skirt. Wearing loose cardigans is so cozy and the fact that it's plaid kind of makes it a little bit extra autumn-like. I wore some black shoes and I also wore a little black skirt under the cardigan. The cardigan is thrifted from Harajuku. It makes me feel good to give clothes a second life. I love the details on the collar of the blouse. I decided to wear two buns for this look. I thought it made it look a little bit playful. You could also wear this with an unbuttoned cardigan if you'd like. But I prefer it buttoned up. This next look is kind of more on the romantic side, I would say. I wore the same black shoes from YesStyle as the previous outfit, these black dungarees from H&M and this cozy little jumper underneath. I thought these ribbons were a cute touch. I think this fluffy beret from Love Toxic kind of just pulls the outfit together. This next outfit made me feel so playful. I think it's because of the jacket. It's from Secret Honey, but I got it through Zen Market. This time I decided to wear these red shoes from Love Toxic. Then I wore a pleated skirt, a blouse and this denim jacket. I'm obsessed with the sailor style jacket. I just think it's such a cute detail. I think the details of the blouse and the sailor collar just complement each other so well. All in all, I just thought it was a really cute outfit. This next outfit is actually almost the exact same, but I changed it to this loose cardigan and some black shoes instead. I just thought it was quite interesting how changing to the cardigan kind of changed it from this playful outfit to this kind of shy girl looking outfit. It just made me feel really cozy, like I wanted to go on an evening stroll. This cardigan from Wego has kind of become my new favourite autumn piece. It's just loose and warm and cozy, you cannot go wrong. I love the homely feel of a Japanese neighbourhood and I think it suits this outfit quite well actually. Overall, I find this outfit to be a cozy autumn staple. This next outfit is technically not Japanese fashion, it's actually from a UK brand called Miss Patina. Even though it's not technically Japanese fashion, I love the colours, I think it's so autumn-like and it kind of reminds me of a university student. Dresses like this are so great because you only have to throw them on, they are basically an entire outfit on their own. One detail I love is the little red tie. I think it just really pops on the brown dress. Plus, I have red hair, so it kind of matches me. This next outfit is definitely one of my favourites. I think it has such a romantic feeling to it.
I wore black shoes with red socks, some black shorts, and this Liz Lisa top on top of this red jumper. I decided to wear pigtails and a beret, I just thought it looked cute together. The highlight is definitely this top from Liz Lisa, I love the little ribbon on it. This next outfit gave me real geek chic vibes, like someone who would read in the park. I wore some thigh high socks and a striped jumper and shorts both from Wego. I also wore the same secret honey denim jacket from before that I got through Zen Market. I kind of thought it was interesting matching it with this casual outfit. Yeah, this outfit was kind of giving me explorer vibes. This next outfit is another little dress with a jumper underneath. I know I've been wearing this jumper a lot, but it's just so versatile and I love the colour. I especially love how it matches with brown. I wore these red shoes from Love Toxic, this dress which is also from Love Toxic, and the little jumper underneath. I decided to wear my hair in a little ponytail, I just thought it suited the look. Some details I love are this little buckle belt and the way the jumper frills at the top. This next outfit kind of made me feel like when you're having a casual night out with your friends. It's a really simple style, but at the same time, I think it's really cosy. I wore my favourite skirt from Bob on 21 and this jumper from Anc Rouge that I got through Zen Market. What I love about this jumper is that it's simple enough to pretty much match with anything, but at the same time, it's still so cute. Some of the details I love are the little buttons and bow on the skirt and the sheer shoulders on the jumper. This next outfit is similar, but still pretty different. This time I wore thigh-high socks and a kind of warmer looking skirt. I also wore red shoes this time. I think these changes kind of made it look less cool and more cute. Again, I love these sheer shoulders. And I also really love the hearts on this skirt. I think it's really important to always buy clothes that you can easily match with other clothes in your wardrobe. I would like to formally apologise for the cliché, but to be fair, Starbucks is a pretty well-established autumn stereotype, right? I wore red shoes with these red dungarees from H&M and my little striped sweater from Wego. Be honest though, this does give reading in Starbucks vibes, right? And for my final outfit, I would like to take you to the streets of Ikebukuro wearing something a little bit more edgy. I wore these black bands, some black shorts, an anime girl t-shirt, and this little jacket that I thrifted from Harajuku. The fact that the jacket is maroon and oversized is kind of what's giving this cozy autumn feels. Yeah, I did cut that t-shirt myself. I think this style is technically called boyfriend style, even if you don't have a boyfriend, I think it's still nice to wear these kinds of things. I think it's kind of charming. And that's all of the outfits! Thank you so much for watching!
If you would like to buy Japanese brands like Secret Honey, Pink Latte and Wego, Bobon 21, and Anc Rouge, then I recommend trying Zen Market. It makes it so easy to shop on Japanese stores. All you have to do is find an item you like and drag the URL into your cart. They will then order it to their warehouse in Japan and then send it out to you. It's that easy. I'm going to put a link in the description for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know which outfit was your favourite. I would love to hear. And a big thank you to Mel for acting as my photographer. Check the description for her YouTube. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.